Hi there, my name is John Stevens. I'm pastor of Zion Lutheran Church in Oregon City, Oregon, and we're part of the ELCA. And welcome to Dollar Store Children's Sermons, where we take a look at the lectionary text, we tie them to an item from the Dollar Tree. This is for the narrative lectionary, and we're looking at, we're in the second Sunday of Advent, and we're looking at Esther and the fourth chapter, verses 1 to 17. And um, I, well, I'm really kind of looking at the entire story of Esther. And I remember uh, a number of years ago, I was living in Blackfoot, Idaho, and I do sleight of hand magic and I do magic shows and things like that. And I got um, hired by the Jewish community of Jackson Hole to come up and do a magic show in their celebration and their festive, their um, festival day of Purim where uh, they retell the story of Esther and there's the melodrama that's going on and when you when you hear the king's name you boo and then you cheer for uh, Esther you know, and all these things where where the story gets retold and we're reclaiming and we're remembering God being active in this story and I'm really getting drawn to that the idea that we retell stories on purpose so that we know and we can mark time where we can point and say God was active in that place. And so as a children's sermon, uh, talking about places that we might mark where God is active and where God has lifted up the unexpected, lifted up those that we don't necessarily would point out and say, that's the hero of the story or that's the heroine of the story. We look at the last place we would find God is in the manger, uh, in this uh, baby in the manger, um, in a feeding trough. It is pretty ridiculous, and yet that's what we celebrate at the coming at Christmas. So this idea that we look at the way that God breaks in and lifts up the lowly when uh, we hear in the Revised Common Lectionary, the psalm for today, which might be a connection point when you do... Esther is uh, the, the psalm is uh, the Magnificat is the retelling of the story is the Mary saying yes I do know I God has spoken to me and this is what is happening and so when we listen to the stories that are around us and we see how God is active in our midst and ways that we can mark that so um, ways that we can do that you could use a birthday card the way, reason that we have a birthday card is that we remember someone's birthday we give thanks that they have come into our lives that they are they have been born and we give thanks for that uh, it could be an anniversary card uh, today is my 19th anniversary of or it's the anniversary of my 19th year of ordination I was ordained 19 years ago on December 5th 1999 in Idaho Falls Idaho and um, so that I might I tie that in, that God was active there. And we tell this story and we celebrate as a way of reclaiming that. And uh, so um, that's, that, that's when um, uh, the Jewish community lifts up this festival day and says God is active here and they retell the story. So hope this can be a springboard for your own thinking around your children's sermon. As always, thanks for stopping by and I hope you have a fantastic week.